Fox News Storm Team. Good morning. It's now 517. Could have some afternoon and evening thunderstorms. Uh, it is otherwise going to be hotter and more humid today. You're really going to notice uh, the humidity this afternoon. Uh, there's also thunderstorms probable even in some areas tomorrow night. And unfortunately, I have to tell you this, severe weather is going to be possible. Uh, right now in Bismarck, it's 68 degrees. The dew points are 59, so a fairly high humidity to start the day. In Minot, the temperature is 67, dew point at 59, so that humidity is 76%. Here are a few other temperatures, and I'm not real sure about Harvey. Something's going on with the gauges there, but that'll, that's in the ballpark. Uh, so we're looking at 60s and uh, around 70 in Williston already. Uh, the dew points, upper 50 and the western part of the state, mid 60s already. We're all going to get higher dew points today. It's going to be muggy. So here's the radar. Not expecting any severe weather out of this. Later on this afternoon, well, we could have some severe weather. So the Storm Prediction Center bumped up uh, from a uh, marginal risk to a slight risk, which means scattered uh, severe thunderstorms are possible. Now you can still get severe weather where this darker green is, just the odds are higher uh, in the yellow. And then looking at tomorrow, it looks like the threat for severe weather is mainly going to be in the west. And this is on Saturday. A lot of us, most of us will have a chance of uh, severe weather. So here we are. This is a forecast model, not the actual radar, not expecting any storms. And it kind of just pushes on east by 12 noon, maybe a few clouds, a few sprinkles, light showers, maybe a small thunderstorm around. Heating of the day could trigger some thunderstorms. If we get these, they're called discrete, you know, just kind of out by themselves. If we get these discrete storms, then we're probably talking about large hail. If for whatever reason things start turning into a line, then we're starting to talk about damaging wind. But right now, this forecast model is talking, or is kind of indicating we might be dealing with some hail storms ton uh, tonight, at least in the storms that develop. So tomorrow morning to start the day, fairly clear. And then here comes some more storms by tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night. So high temperatures today should be in the 80s and 90s and muggy. Did I tell you that already? Uh, low temperatures tonight should be uh, in the 60s and muggy. Tomorrow we're going to be back into the 80s and even some 90s once again. And here's a look at the Minot seven day outlook and uh, Boy, next week the North Dakota State Fair begins, but uh, for this weekend, next several days, there will be a few chances of showers and storms. I wish I could tell you that we won't have severe weather, but uh, it's very possible we will have severe weather, so we'll just have to keep an eye on the sky. Of course, if you have your KX Storm Team weather app, keep it with you all weekend long so you know where the storms are. That is key, yeah. and then uh, when you have my advantage, you just text Tom. Yeah. You're insider you trading. That works too. <laughs> <laughs> but no, the radar is, it's nice. You're out in the middle of the lake, see yeah. when those are coming, or on a run, Josh. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. I've, I've definitely got to be checking out that radar before I go on runs, because <laughs> last time I started hearing thunder, and then the lightning came, uh -huh. and it was a disaster. Yeah, scary. <laughs> Thank you very much, Tom. When we return this morning on Good